Hey guys, this is Laurel. If you're new to my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome and thanks for stopping here and I hope that you'll consider subscribing before you leave. If you are um, a, been watching my videos for a while now, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to talk about uh, trends in the digital and paper crafting world. Um, and not that we let the trends dictate, you know, the things that are important to us when we're doing our crafting, but they are kind of fun to follow. Um, we do it when, with clothing and with activities and other things in our lives, so I, I don't think this is really any different. So, um, focusing on the tropical trend here, um, I've created this, I've created a Pinterest board um, of things that fall into the tropical category, you know, like flamingos, and pineapples, um, flip-flops, palm leaves, um, I've seen a few avocados and various other things, fish. Um, and what I've just done here is I've grabbed examples from, um, you know, clothing, from crap, paper crafts, so a couple of planners. There's an eye makeup look in there. There's, um, you know, tropical flowers and all. There's also home decor items and various other little things that fit under the the tropical trend and what I did this for is just to create like a, a feel for the trend not really trying to say that I'm going to copy anything here exactly but it just gives me the idea of the trend and I will go ahead and link you um, to this Pinterest board so that you can take a more in-depth look at this if you're interested in this particular trend for my projects that I did today I used this kit by Tracy Reed and JD Day Studio at Sweet Shop Designs and it's darling it's called Pineapple of My Eye and you can see that it's got all those luscious goodies in there. Now this is a digital scrapbooking kit but of course you can use this for more than digital scrapbooking and again I will link this for you below so you can pick it up if you want. What I'm going to do is show you a three samples of things I've done here. I'm going to show you a scrapbook page layout um, all these are digital projects or hybrid by the way and then I'm going to show you a bullet journaling spread and I'll, I'll find finish off with a hybrid card that I made okay so the first one I did here is this scrapbooking page that I created now this was at the Disneyland all music resort sorry the Disney World all music resort and you know a lot of people would typically choose to just do a Disneyland theme with mouse ears and such but I didn't really find that that was um, fitting this very well. So what I did instead is I used the fun tropical elements of the kit to pick up the tropical feel of this pool. I've got the little beach umbrellas. I've got an orange slice for the O and sweet memories and um, a little pineapple ribbon underneath that picture of the large maracas and a little tropical flower up at the top. And of course, an, an, an alphabet and a little tag from that kit. And um, I just felt like that fit so much better with the theme of what I was doing. And this is just so much more fun for me to actually get, feel, capture the mood of the pool rather than trying to focus too much on the Disney World part of it, even though we weren't technically in some place tropical. But that doesn't mean that you have to use this only with tropical themed projects. For example, this next one is my bullet journaling spread that I was going to show you. Now there's no real reason that I chose a tropical, um, like a tropical element like a pineapple other than that I just thought it was fun and it was a little summery. This totally isn't anything very tropical, tropical at all, but I really love this. So in a previous video I showed how I imported like digital elements from the web. I just put them um, from my computer hard drive into my Dropbox account online and then I go ahead and pop those elements in. And that's another thing I will go ahead and link for you below, or rather another video I mean that I'll link for you below. So what you, what I did here, <coughs> excuse me, is I took a little pineapple element and popped that in next to each day of the week in my planner. And then if you notice at the bottom, I've got two ribbon strips that have those little pineapples there. And um, that's how I embellished this spread. And as you can see, it's not anything that was really complicated or fancy, but it just gave me... Um, a fun little way to embellish my page and it gave me a color scheme to use with the other doodles and swirls and even the lettering that I put on my bullet journal page so that was really fun and easy to do so anyways the next thing is my hybrid card so using this exact same kit the pineapple of my eye I took um, some elements and digital papers from this kit and I created the card front that has this cute little pineapple on it the diagonally striped paper and the little graph paper and the pineapple and the little word strip, those all came from the kit. 
and uh, I put them onto a four inch by five and a quarter inch card front in Photoshop Elements and then I printed it out. What I did next was to put it on some pink cardstock I had from my stash. This is just a pink basil textured cardstock. Then I had some um, silk flowers that I purchased at my local craft store, a little button that I had in my stash, and I made a little tie out of a little um, yeah tied element at the top using some raffia. I don't know if that's technically tropical, but I sure thought it felt it fit in with the theme of this card. So I tied my little raffia bow, and then I put my flower on there with some glue and then just top that with the button along with some glue and then I just found some various little um, green and yellow sequins uh, also from my stash and I put those every place where there was like a crisscross or a little corner on the pineapple and it just really made it look great one last final touch that I created was just to go around the um, the edge of the card with some distress ink I can't remember which color I used but I will note that for you either down below or on my blog and so there you have it guys. You have three easy but darling um, projects using this trop this trend of tropical a uh, sheet. If you guys have any questions about these projects, go ahead and either leave me a comment below or email me. You can get better looks of all these projects on my blog. I thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending part of your day here and I hope to see you soon. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. <laughs>